But Bardstown, Kentucky police officer Jason Ellis took his oath. He promised to never betray his badge. Named Officer of the Year during his time on the force, he was dedicated to serving the public until May of 2013. Tonight, the Unsolved team is taking you to Bardstown, back to exit 34, where Officer Ellis took his final breath. Here's Shay McAllister. a loving, caring man. Oh, Bill Road, by the way. There's been a tree leak on my something. Officer Dale, Officer Dale, please emergency. You know, he was uh, um, a good cop, very active cop. I'm thinking about the status of the officer. Is he conscious? I, I believe he is. and I, he was a family man, he was outgoing, he was fun, he was energetic, his um, personality was infectious, he was always the life of the party, and he just, he was amazing. A dedicated public servant, parent, and partner, Bardstown police officer Jason Ellis embodied all that was good. My name is Rick McCubbin. I'm the retired police chief from Bardstown, Kentucky. Uh, Jason was a, um, he was a, uh, he was a chief's cop. <laughs> he was a great guy. Working nights on the force with his canine partner, Figo, Jason was a drug officer. But on May 25th, 2013, he was working alone. Jason had opted to, to leave Figo home that night since he was not in his canine car. In, a, in just a pool car. Like every other night, Jason responded to calls. 139 dispatch, the traffic stop. He popped into his son's baseball game. He got called away in the middle of the game, um, and we didn't get to say bye to him. He took a suspect to jail, and then he signed off for the night, leaving the Bardstown Police Department around 2 a.m. 139 out of camp. Driving the dark and desolate Bluegrass Parkway, Jason was heading home. The officer took his typical route, winding around exit 34, seeing something up ahead, something in the road, something that would make the officer stop. I just got off work, and there was a the police car is sitting in the middle of the road with the lights on. And I said, what the hell happened? We didn't know what it was. It's a tree across the road. And I, I, I didn't know what it was. And I got out and I went up there and looked and it's him. It just feels like it's not real. Okay, can you tell if he is breathing? No, sir, he is not breathing. Body temperature is cold. That voice at a distillery worker on his way home for the night. Passerbys were the first to find the assassinated officer and call for help. 